What is up guys? Welcome on back to Lords of the Fallen. It's going to be uh, episode 2 and uh, it's only a couple of days after the game came out. I'm giving it another try. Um, it just got patched so uh, I read some of the patch notes and it's got kind of like some of the PC issues kind of worked on. So I'm going to play this game and I'm playing it offline today. Um, I've seen if that'll it'll make it run a little bit better or help it run a little better. I'm sure this is going to be a massive difference with between that and the patch. And um, we're just going to make our way to the next, uh, next area or boss. What I'll probably do in this game is it doesn't matter I guess how long or short the areas are, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the the I'm gonna end them at boss fights. So I'll go through the area, end it at a boss fight. It could be, I mean, unless the boss fights are just completely back to back, and then, then you know the, the episode's five minutes long. Um, so, but what I'll do is my my plan is to go through the area, defeat the boss, you know, level up and all that, and then start the next episode after that. So, um, it's kind of what I typically do in these kind of Souls type games. And, uh, like I said, you know, one area could be an hour and a half, one area could be 20 minutes, who knows. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed everything, and, uh, let's go. Oof. I'm gonna have to, uh, really remember the controls on this game. My only, my only issue... see that I, I, I I'm struggling with the there it is okay I'm struggling with the I was struggling with the hand thing this but it looks like I when I change them now I have an actual button they're tied to that I can use all right and if I remember right um, if I kind of u-turn here there was an item There was an item over here that I... I'm gonna put this up and it's got a door. I don't know. I'm gonna have to enter the Umber World or something to go there, but let's kill this enemy and then we'll go figure that out. Oh, never mind. It's dead. Um, maybe it doesn't respawn. I don't know. It's gotta respawn. It's got to respawn. Maybe I just didn't rest at the vestige or whatever. Let's, let's enter, enter Umbral and see if we can do it. The gate doesn't budge. Okay, we got to enter, enter Umbral anyway. To go across this bridge, if I remember right. There's like a bridge or something. Bitch. Okay, we need to enter it anyway, see? Yeah, okay, that was that worked out. Suck these balls. I don't know what these do, if they make the world weaker or what, is this an enemy? I think it is. What is this? The big vestige. I'm gonna rest here actually. Just interact with that. Oh, okay, so interacting takes you out of the Umber World, okay. That's like an NPC or vendor or something. I always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the Rogar serves us both. I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you would know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. I've defied the wills of gods and king. To the 
This is like a save area or something. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try to go back and kill that one dude. I don't know if it'll if I'll be able to do it, but let's see. I want to fight this one dude. I don't know what he is or who he is. I don't want to go in that area. I just want to be getting ganked here. Look at this guy. Oh shit, now, now his first buddies are coming. They the aggro, now they're coming back. Fuck you, game, seriously. out of my game, you fucking asshole. Me too. Me three. Sorry for the truck in the background. Anything here? Oh yeah, there's something there. All right. Now I'm kind of understanding that. Okay. Let's pick up the trash kind of behind me right now. 
What the wrong? Hold on. What's up here? Nothing. I think I've gone over there. Can't go over there, so it looks like I gotta go into this building or whatever over here. Let's go up here and see what's over here. You're a little extra tanky, lady. Oh shit. I'm just fucking flailing you motherfuckers, bro. The ring. Mine owner's ring. So I can go in there with my lamp. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's rest and go do that. I don't know what that is, but it's a great character. Uh, let's keep vitality over one. Let's keep vitality, endurance, and strength all together. Let's do that. Betrayed something. Okay, well, what is that? We can get back up. Let's let's go this way here. Play on that. Was that storm Come thing on. we had before? That's what it looks like. Alright, let's get back up the stairs here. Umbral scouring. Okay. I think this happened when the story things are done. I think I've gotten that before from there. Let me rest again. Okay. So he looks like you just go there and get those items. Let's remember what we got here. Those well, increased stamina, ammo pouch. I got a shield. Okay, I can parry with that thing. Oh, I got kind of like armor. What is this ring? Old tarnish increases maximum stamina. Can I put it on? Or is it already equipped? I 
There we go. Oh, this looks like I gotta go this way. I'm a parry, bro. Hit you so fucking hard, your axe twirled like a ballerina, bitch. Alright, let's go and dump roll and go here, because last time I did this, I fucking died. I don't know what these do. Oh fuck, I got a bunch of shit on my ass now. What is this? Yeah. Wait for Mumbro. Let's go. This, I believe, is across from where I just was. Yep. Let's see there we go. So if I die, I can just go back to the thing and come back there. Come on, boy. Fuck out of my game, you dirty whore. The fuck? Holy shit. No, I'm good. Pilgrim hood and pilgrim bandages, nah. No. I don't think going in there is really gonna be a benefit for me, to be honest. Oh fuck, yeah. somehow I'm here. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Did I get stuck in a wall or something? I didn't go into like Umbral. Out of my game. I gotta fucking play more, bro. Sorry. Let me get back down and grab that. I'm not doing that again. I can level up. What's over here? Holy water. What a boss? Well, that's not a boss. I can level up. What's the purpose of this? Like, seriously, what's the purpose? I don't think there's a boss. I think it's that vendor guy again. Or the... This fucking dude. You carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat, over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself should you fall, make use of this. 
Dude, that's why my, my umbrella lamp was just kind of like like lighting up. I wasn't sure why that was. I wasn't sure if I was talking to him or what was going on there. What well, position you can... An umbral flower bed. Okay, so you gotta look for the flowers. Select your umbral lamp. Why to grow a vestige seedling. Oh, okay. These are the things where you can kind of make your own like bonfire or whatever, and I think it's right here. Yep. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you can put these all around the world or wherever you want or if you have to buy them or if there's you could use one at a time or how that goes. Let's uh, let's upgrade our character and we'll talk to him again. I've given you more umbral guidance. Than I think I'm gonna I get my vigor and my strength to like a twenty, and then I'll start figuring the other stuff out. out Cause I don't have any like spells or anything to use right now. I've given you more from now on. Find your suck my fucking penis. Well, let's rest. Let's get our fucking health back. Cause I don't know if we're going to a new area or what this is. Yeah, it's still acting stuttery a little bit, but it is playing smoother. Oh, this is where I was with that other guy. With that Italian guy or whatever, and that looks like a boss door. That's a boss door. Let these guys duke it out over here. I'm gonna go up there and grab everything. Backstab this guy, they don't seem to see me. <laughs> Fuck, he doesn't even see me. Is that like a glitch? Well, that was weird. Okay, so now there was uh, this item here. But I'll die getting it. Oh my god, fuck that. I'm gonna go back and heal and then come back to this boss or whatever it is. Let's go back, let's go back. Uh, rest up, come back to this boss or whatever it is. That looks like a boss arena to me.
All right, so I, I, I'm up to heal lobby. I mean, the level. So let's go. Do I have uh, those skulls? I've only got one. That's worth 200. I'm good. I've already used the level up. I'm, 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 I think I'm properly leveled for whatever's coming up. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days, to lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters, so we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. try. Ha ha ha, yeah. If in doubt, swing as hard as you fucking can. Oh shit, I sheathed like three phases.
driver seat purged. Fuck yes. Let's pull that out. Brothers and sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. Brothers and sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were the unnecessary, my wishes will not ease you. Oh fuck, am I another boss fight? Oh Jesus. The bottom of the castle? Oh, okay, there's like a lusting area. Okay. I wonder if I have to go through this area if it's just I just walk up and rest. It looks like I just walk up and rest. Oh, here's a guy at the beginning. Beautiful. Welcome, Dark Crusader. assessment of you as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us crusader my name is dunmire and i am an exactor of the dark crusaders the holy order of which you are now an honored member the church of orion radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging mornstead of its rogar blight and ensuring the ancient tyrant adir feels no liberation from his enduring imprisonment While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, we stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter. So remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. Oh, he's a vendor. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. like a skull shrimp. I'm gonna hold on to these stuff, this stuff just in case here. This stuff I don't need. This I'll keep just in case. Except for pairing if I want to. Purchase. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Oh, we have spells. Yes. Oh, I like this weapon here. That does holy damage too, the hammer.
alive in darkness, in light we walk. I need more radiance to use that, but it's okay. A barbed wire sword or hammer. I think that's a starting weapon for one of the enemies, so for the, one of the characters. All right, let's get this real quick. And what the boss I just fought? Gives me smite, which I don't know what that is. Ignite, poison, resistance anyway. It's, it's physical, it gives me more physical. Alright. Endurance goes up a lot there. Those three up to twenty, then we'll figure everything else out. What this guy here is. Is that a vendor? Eyeballs. Oh. Well, it looks like we have to log in to get back over here. Hello. The lamp must be born until the favored child makes themselves. The lamp must be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. Wow, oh, okay. It's back at the Ember Eye, what is that? Door. and bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Oh, this is umbral magic. Oh. What if umbral magic's any good in this game? Hold on. So this costs 6,000 vigor to get 3,200 vigor? Yeah, no. Okay. Other opportunities Until for vengeance. Let's talk to this guy. The lamp must be born only then. The lamp only then. Don't forget what we needed in here. Feature requires me online. Right, let's go online and then kind of see. The only reason why I'm offline is because it wasn't running great. The only reason why I'm offline. So let's wait. It's weird that I can't log in there. I 
It's all NPCs. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be here for a few minutes. Okay, this must be like the hub. Okay, like a wrong, like a. I call it a hub. Hubba hubba. All right, let's let's back. Let's go to the main menu real quick, and then we'll log in through the main menu. I just kinda, I'm just curious to see what they this person sells. morning if this is putting me back online. If not, I'll have to go back to it later, I guess. Maybe I'll we'll talk to her. God, this is running weird. It's running rough. See, online is a completely different thing. I almost guarantee I'm online now. Oh, I must be online. <laughs> this is running rough, man. It really is. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's just this area. Okay. They're probably doing maintenance or something, I don't know. Alright, let's let's talk to everybody. Talk to her. By Aureus' divine yeah, that's the will, I, I was. live again. It's a miracle. And to think I raised my sword to you. When all alone you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood contained within the Sanguinarics you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Ooh, I have one. Beautiful. Fellow sanctified vessel. May Ori so she's like, heels. That's fucking awesome. And she's a really cool character, I think. She's really cool. Fucking beautiful. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Let our, the beacons must be cleansed. The hallowed sentinels restored. And Adir's fellow choked. Okay, so let's, um... Where's that one dude at? I want to buy the uh, thing off of him. That catalyst. Where the fuck you go? While the beacon should remain your most pressing task, I would have you perform another for me concurrently. Seek out and return to me the items which stand as proof of the hallowed sentinel's heretical deviations and practices. For only in the study of such can we hope to turn them towards the true light of Aureus. This land is overflowing with sin, so I expect this undertaking to offer you little difficulty. Also, say nothing of this to Pieta or the Fidelis Captain. They are already conflicted. Troubling them further only endangers them and our mission. 
You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Oh, almost about that catalyst thing. To strive Wait, in darkness, on. in light we walk. Oh, how the fuck I put it on? Oh, a quick access item? I thought about a catalyst, I guess I didn't. Oh, there it is. I'll have to be at 12 radians to use it, okay. <clears throat> it looks like I'm getting a radiance at 12. Curious to see what's above me here. I know there's a way I can go up to. So it looks like I, I can go into the umbral world in here. Or maybe up in here. Oh, there's a chest. Sanctify. Beautiful. Fuck yeah. So have some heal and some uh, some items we can use. Some different. Make sure you guys go up there. Hmm, grab sanctify. Unless you don't want it. It looks like that door is the way to the next area. So we're gonna go to that door last. Yeah, this area just is slowing those frames right the fuck down. Before I talked to that guy, I went in there. Oh, that might be the way to the next area. Hmm. Wonder what that door was. So the exactors found himself a new instrument. As exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall. And yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusader's word. I'm Stoman, captain of the Fidelis, a group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times, as are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. In radiance, judgment. Lady will bring redemption.
that heretical as are you. That heretical as are you. Look at you, a dark crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land... That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong, and that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong, much as he might think otherwise. But if in doubt, you much as he might think otherwise. Immortality and the genuine article, not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage, for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. My offer stands as long as necessary. After all, what man of breeding would turn away from one so clearly in need? My offer stands as long as... After all... Uh, 
Careful. If you're headed for Pilgrim's Perch, friend, uh, the hallowed sentinels don't welcome everyone. Not even a faithful pilgrim who's crossed countless miles of land and sea to join them. All I wanted was to serve the divine judge cleric, but they deemed me unworthy and chased me off. What's a poor, rejected disciple to do now, I ask you? I gave away most of what little I owned before I left Perdam. But uh, if you've got some traveling of your own to do, then here, take this. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's been a dependable companion to me. It's a harsh wind that blows in Mornstead, but a tree that doesn't bend breaks, I suppose. <laughs>